Hello everybody, Spectacular, the Silver Stacular, here today with something a little different, that's right, I'm doing a little little copper showcase. Copper is a great metal, super industrial, probably more industrial than any of the other metals combined. The stuff is so cheap that it's just about everywhere. In fact, whatever you're watching me in right now, there's going to be copper inside there, uh, just like some of the other metals too, but copper, big time. Just, it's a cheap metal, it's industrial, it's got all kinds of uses, has that antimicrobial use that uh, also is shared by silver, but... Um, you know, lower corrosion rate, fantastic and used all the time, right? The only problem with this stuff right here, uh, as opposed to things like, you know, silver or gold is the space, right? Let me show you something real quick. Look at this. Ah, geez, this 10 pound bar, although it's awesome. It's awesome to look at a 10 pound copper bar. Uh, it's, you know, significant on the desk right here. I mean, let, me, let me lay it down. Jeez, look at that thing. The only problem is right here is let me show you something else that people stack when it comes to metals. Here is an ounce of gold, right? Gold, the spot price is by the ounce. Copper, the spot price when you look at it is by the pound. So this one bar right here costs about $47 or so, this 10 pound bar. That's the metal price of it alone. They pay a premium, of course, for what it's made into, but 47 is the metal price. Now, this right here, this thing right here is about $2,300, actually north of that right now as of the making of this video. That being said, you need about 50 of these 10-pound bars to equal the value in metal price of just one ounce of gold. That's a problem when it comes to stacking. 50 of these things, 50 to 1 of these. How are you going to do that? I promise this desk, desk that it's on right now will collapse. Let me tell you something, how to fix that problem. All right, so here we go. Probably the most important metal of our lifetime is copper. And while copper is a no-brainer when it comes to investment potential, the price point makes stacking it within our homes a little difficult, as I showed you earlier. So uh, you could fill an entire bedroom with copper bullion for just a few thousand dollars. And for those of us who are coin collectors, saved our copper pennies, right, our cents, uh, we know that those bags are huge. And uh, you, can only, you can only hold on to a few of those before it really becomes a space issue. So how do we get into the copper game in a big way without filling our precious living space to the brim? There's a simple solution. It's right here in the top left of this video, Kalinex Mines, right? So I'm going to have some information for Kalinex Mines all the time right down there. First link in the bottom of this video in the description. Um, also, their uh, stock ticker symbol will be down there in the U.S. market, CLLXF. So you can keep an eye on those things. Do your own research. And a big shout out to Kalinex Mines for sponsoring this video. So let me introduce you to your space saving solution with a company that is going after the most important metals of our everyday lives, Kalinex Mines. So Kalinex Mines high grade copper deposits are located within stable mining jurisdictions. So I got the projects right over here. And uh, it's also within metal mining friendly Canada. So that's what Canada does. You know, it's a big uh, metal mining area. And other projects in the Flin Flon and Bathurst mining district are in areas within, it has an amazing mining history, to be honest, you know, uh, rich in copper, silver, gold, and zinc. So it's got all the things that industry needs. So being in the right spot means Kalinex has the locations that could yield fascinating results. In fact, Kalinex Mines recently announced an independently verified high-grade copper resource that is nearly 6 million tons of over 3% copper and also includes gold, silver, and zinc. So that's fascinating, right? Think about the money involved with that right there. Now, the resource contains over 400 million pounds of copper equivalents. Now, that resource right there could stack up to be one of the largest in the history of that Fin Flon mining district. And the deposit is open for expansion. Pretty good opportunity, it sounds like right there, in my opinion. So now, you know, large portions of copper is mined overseas uh, and with tensions building overseas, you know, it's, it's nice to see Kalinex mines nearby, you know, with our Canadian neighbors. So that way we don't have to worry about what's going to happen if we get, you know, some sort of uh, trade shut down, right? Now, the cost of mine copper uh, mixed in with the fact that the average grade in copper deposits is declining, meaning more work to extract copper, not to mention the high demand of the metal, could cause further copper prices increase. In fact, I got some 
Well, I got an ad right here, but let's take that ad off. And you can see how copper has been going zoop. Look at that. This is just a uh, one year chart right here. Pretty interesting incline, if you ask me. So, um, you know, a company like uh, uh, Kalinex, who is stationed securely within the copper game, could uptrend as well as the demand for copper continues to rise. And I can almost guarantee, I mean, you know, my opinion that copper is definitely going to increase as all this new technology comes out, as there's more people in the world, as the, the need for things happens in this world copper demand is going to go up, up, and away. Uh, with Kalinex mine stock under the U.S. symbol of CLLXF in the U.S. markets, sitting just around $1. Here's their stock right there. Uh, this could be a very budget-friendly moment uh, in history to invest in copper without the worry of how to store the physical stuff. So look at that. It, it's it could be a really, really interesting time with the way copper has slowly been ticking up. I don't know if you've noticed, right? We'll talk about that here in a second. But uh, so let me actually go back to their team. Here we go. So you can see some of the guys. Actually, we, we're, I think on this channel, we're pretty familiar with old Max Porterfield, are we not? So Kalinex Mines award-winning team is a gold mine. The team at Kalinex has a wealth of experience in related areas that makes me feel secure about investing. Kalinex Mines president, CEO, and director Max Porterfield has appeared as my guest on the show in recent years, showing that Kalinex Mines is here for the long haul. Now, their technical team has been credited with over half of the mines discovered in the Flin Flon district's history, including three of the four largest. So these guys seem to know what they're doing, you know what I mean? I think that's pretty much a no-brainer right there. It's pretty obvious. Now, I've mentioned the importance of silver many times on my channel as an industrial metal, and we all know it is. However, uh, more often used in industry is copper, and copper is a highly conductive metal, far cheaper than gold and silver, as I you know, mentioned earlier, how much you could stack in comparison. Um, you know, it's uh, pure deep into the inner workings of whatever you're listening to me to. Uh, like, you know, so if you're on your, your computer, if you're on a phone, um, shoot, you're driving around in your car listening to me, whatever it is, you're going to find copper every single time, every time. To me, that's just the most fascinating part. So if you wonder what makes it possible for your car to go somewhere, it's copper. Uh, some vehicles have around 50 plus pounds of copper and the smarter and cleaner the car the more copper that could be needed in it um, i don't know if you noticed but ai has taken the world by storm and the need for copper and its use with ai has pumped up uh, the need for copper significantly and some of those copper stocks if you haven't noticed they've been pumping up so when those go up it could also be a sign that places like kalinex that are out there finding the copper could go up with it uh, now, overseas wartime efforts demand a high, heavy amount of copper. And at this time in history, when copper is as uh, an industrial metal and in heavy demand, um, it, it's probably not going to get any better as far as the price. It's probably just going to keep on uptrending, if you ask me. My personal opinion on the whole thing. So, um, you know, in just one year, as you can see, copper has increased over 30% in price. And in five years, the copper price has increased over 80%. How crazy. Now, what will happen in just one more year with this copper price? What, what's, what's the possibility? What about five more years? What's the possibility? Now could very well be the time to get into the copper game with the help of Kalinex Mines. Um, and as always, you know, I encourage everyone to do their own research. And I'll always provide links right there. First link down below uh, in the description. So that way you can check out their website, you know, go around a little bit, look at their projects. Uh, you get the Flin Flon Mining District right here. It shows you exactly where they're going. Uh, it's, it's very interesting to me. Uh, and, you know, like I've mentioned, uh, Max has been on the channel before as a guest and a very, you know, kind guy, very knowledgeable, um, has a passion for what he's doing. And, uh, you know, somebody like that alone can make me want to invest in a company. So the fact that he's been, you know, I think it's been a couple of years now since I had Max on the, uh, on the channel. So, you know, this is not some fly by night company. Uh, they're here to stay. 
Uh, copper is also not a fly-by-night uh, resource. Uh, that thing is here to stay. That's going to be in our lives until we die. And then it's going to be in our children's lives until they die and so on and so forth. That's what we use, you know. That's what we need. Um, as, you know, they keep mining the stuff and uh, the easy stuff on the surface has been found up, you know, they got to go deeper. And uh, who knows how great the mines are going to be as you start to go deeper. It's, it's, I'm sure it's a more expensive process. I would imagine it is. And that's just going to cause the price of copper to rise. So if you can get into the copper game now, it, it might be a really good opportunity. Anyways, um, once again, Kalinex Mines uh, link down in the description to their website. Also, you'll see that stock ticker symbol down below and the U.S. market CLLXF. And uh, highly cons consider highly consider you know looking into this right I, you should definitely check it out at the very least um, i encourage it consider this an opportunity at this time because i think it has a strong potential anyways i gotta go for now i really appreciate you for watching this uh spectacular is out well hello everybody i seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals i encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular.